Did you know your iPad can actually serve as a full function presenter display remote for another iPad, for a Mac, or an iPhone giving a presentation? Here's where that becomes really helpful. Maybe you walk into a venue expecting to present with your MacBook open in front of you and that super powerful, very customized presenter display right at your fingertips. And then something goes wrong and all of a sudden it's not. This isn't hypothetical. This happened to me when I went to a school to be a guest speaker about presentation skills. And all of a sudden, because of a problem with the projector, my computer had to be about 10 feet away from me instead of right in front of me. Now I no longer had access to controls, so I pivoted that day. And what I did, you can use as well. Now sometimes it's not a technical problem. Sometimes you walk into a venue and you're not using your Mac to present. You're giving them a keynote file to present on their Mac and it's in back of house or it's somewhere else in the room that's not right in front of you and they don't have a confidence monitor and they maybe just give you a clicker at best or at worst, they want someone else to run your presentation for you, which I never think is a good idea. You can avoid it. So today, let me show you how you can use your iPad, even though I still think the presenter display is limited, what it has is so much more than you having nothing when you're in a room presenting. What you may not have noticed before is this little icon here next to the select button. It's for a remote. And if we tap on it, it will tell us you can use this iPad as a remote control to present slideshows on a nearby Mac, iPad, or iPhone. But that's just half of it. Now we're ready to start things out. How do we connect to the Mac? Here we have Keynote open on our Mac. And if we go into the top left corner here, under Keynote, and then choose Settings, you'll have this General Settings that pops up. And if we go over here to Remote, we can enable it as a giant paragraph here, how you can use an iPhone or iPad as a remote. Click Enable, then we'll go back over to our iPad. On our iPad, in the center, we'll tap Continue. And it's gonna look for a device to connect to. Now, we go back to our Mac. Here's a really important part to pause and to point out to you. This is work you need to do ahead of time. If you're troubleshooting in the moment, this will Will probably stress out the production team or whoever you're working with unless you just have your own device. I would always encourage you to set this up ahead of time and test it out so that you have it ready as a backup. If you're going in somewhere where you're going to use their computer and you want to use your iPad as a remote to control Keynote on their computer, ask if you can set up even 15 minutes before you're supposed to speak to come in and test this out so all the settings can be set up. So here we are back on our Mac and if we zoom in, we see that we now have a link that has popped up for our iPad. When we click on this link, it will show a number 2569. You want to do this just in case you've got some people in your audience or some students who are trying to connect to interfere with your presentation. Now we have to go over to the iPad to make sure the same number is showing up there before we click this confirm button. Now here we are on our iPad again, and you can see in the center we have 2569. It says confirm this passcode on, and it gives the name for me, MJS MacBook. That's ready to go, so we'll go over to the MacBook and we'll click confirm. Even our MacBook, and if we zoom in, 2569 is a match, we'll click confirm. And now our iPad is linked as a remote. We can close this out. Now on our iPad, we've got this green play button that has shown up, and it says you're ready to control the slideshow on your MacBook. So we tap on it, and up comes our presenter display on our iPad. Now, I do think this is limited compared to the MacBook, but if you're having problems and you have nothing in front of you, no confidence monitor, nothing to help you out, this is way better than having nothing. And if it's an iPad, you can walk around the room if you have a classroom you're working in, if you're on a stage, you can move around the stage, and you have total freedom just carrying this iPad with more in front of you than just a clicker. On the top left, you have your navigator, so you can go to any slide just by tapping on it, tap off the screen. Again, the top right corner, you can click and change your setup. Maybe you wanna show current and next slide. Maybe you wanna show next slide and your current notes, or maybe you want to draw on the screen. You can do all of that from your iPad. Meanwhile, over on your MacBook, here we have that presentation, but the slide on my Mac matches the one on my iPad. It's just as if you were playing the presentation from Keynote on your iPad when you're in this remote control mode. And as you move through, you can draw on your screen, you can get out of there, 
And as you advance your slides on your iPad, they advance on your Mac. And that's really all there is to it. Your iPad can serve as a remote, as a portable confidence monitor. It can have your presenter notes on it, helps you navigate through your slides. It's a super powerful clicker that gives you way more than just that when you're in a room where either you can't use your MacBook or your MacBook can't be close to you where you're presenting. Let me know in the comments how you have found this remote control feature helpful for you when you've got your iPad and a MacBook and need to present, maybe a situation where things were looking bad and this saved you. Again, leave comments and questions to help me know how I can help you better. That drives a lot of the videos that I make. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.